Hey guys, how are you? Crafty Chef Diamond, welcome to my crafting kitchen. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to post this daily. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that just because of my work schedule and then I'm getting ready for flight schedules. Um, so I got together with um, a few women in our YouTube family and um, we were all working on the Dreamcatcher and we have all dedicated to my um, Vivian, my mother-in-law that I lost uh, last week. Well, actually this week, but uh, we're getting into a new week. So um, we were supposed to start this on Monday and then two of the gals started yesterday because they finished their projects for uh, April and I was still working on my craftably project make the make the world a better place slow down Laura just slow down uh, it's like 7 10 p.m. my time on the east coast and my lighting in this room is not very good uh, so anyways I took my um, flower canvas canvas and kind of you know just moved it to the side uh, to get started on the dream catcher so I am working with um, diamond painting with lazy retired granny um, DP crazy lady and uh, Becky Sloan crafting with V I haven't heard from Becky or um, crafting with V I th I think V's away for the weekend Becky I don't know what's on her schedule um, but I did start this late last night so I worked on this for just a little bit excuse my voice for some reason I don't know because of all the stress that I've gone through over the week this girl's hacking I just took some medication um, I think I'm coming down with a cold um, I don't have my light pad on but this is the dream catcher that we are working on uh, by Diamond Art Club we purchased this at Hobby Lobby uh, we all had um, Hobby Lobby was running great sales we got 40% off and we grabbed it so um, this is by Savina Meister sorry if I butchered your name um, but anyways um, it is 42 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Um, can you see what I've gotten done so far? I am working on my canvas upside down and I have all my drills in my drill container upside down. Um, I want to work this canvas till I get about halfway and then I'll turn it and then work my way down. Um, I wanted to save the dream catcher part for the end of it. Um, this is the release papers I'm using. I'm on section two right here. This is section three. I work from the left to the right. And then um, once I pull, oop, there went my light pad. Once I pull this paper up, then I'll set my other um, release papers. Um, these are not all the same size. These, I use these, see how they start to curl right here? So as I'm using them, um, I want to get as much use out of these. This was a gift from a, a really good friend of mine. Um, I believe these came from Crafting with Crashly. She makes these. But so anyways, what I do, this is the normal size. As you can tell, this is a little bit smaller. When they start to curl or they tear a little bit, I just trim them and I keep using them until I get down to a little nubbly bit and then it's say, okay, it's time to let it go. Um, that's what I do with all my release papers. I have some of my other friends when I've sent, let them know that, yeah, some of my release papers are starting to curl and they're like, yeah, just trash. I'm like, no, I don't think so. I'm thrifty. I save everything. Um, okay. So, um, what I have experienced from this canvas so far, it's great. It's great. It's Diamond Art Club. You can't go wrong. You have a tarpaulin canvas. You have great drills. Um, one of the other ladies, we're kind of like comparing, going back and forth as we go on this journey together. Um, have I had some drills that are sticking so far? Yes. So what I do, if I have a lot right now, I could just like, you know, rolling with my fingers, but sometimes after a little while, because Diamond Art Club diamonds, I know everybody calls them faceted or whatever. They're, they're more domed 
And so they're pointy to me. They're a little bit rougher. They're not flat like your budget companies. So if I, if I get to that part where I have a lot sticking together, I just put them in my pill bottle. I have a quarter in there and shake, shake, shake. Uh, some other people use regular, um, I have to pause. I just got a phone call. Sorry about that. Um, uh, that was my sister calling me. Um, I think I was showing you my pill bottle and I do shake, shake, shake and the diamonds come apart. But I really only do that when I have a lot that are sticking together. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'll tell you, this, I'm going to get a cold and then I have to travel. So, um, take a little bit of drink here. Um, so I think I told you I was working upside down. Um, and then I'm going to turn it later on. Uh, so this is where I'm at right now. Um, everything is great. I've placed a couple of ABs around in here. I don't think I'm going to get to any of the blue until I'm further into the canvas. So, um, yeah, this is my progress so far. And I will drill a little bit with you guys and then... Um, I'll have to call it a night. The wind is like really whipping outside. Um, I'm just using my standard Diamond Art Club. Uh, this is my favorite Diamond Dots tray. Um, I have many trays, but this is my favorite. I don't know why. <laughs> One day I'll find that right tray, but right now this is my right tray. It's three years old. It hasn't lost its grooves. I don't put a lot of diamonds in there. I've never had diamonds fly out at the end. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, uh, DP crazy lady, I hear that you now have a, um, a tripod that's going to fit on the end of your work table. And that is amazing to hear that, um, diamond painting granny, you have come along both of you. Oh my goodness. You are, I think we're all single placers. Um, you guys are just traveling. Wow, you're doing a fantastic job. Um, I think you will be done before me because, uh, you know, in between uh, starting this great canvas, um, I will be having to stop mine and uh, take a trip back home to Colorado and uh, take care of some family. <sighs> family business. I am so overwhelmed that you guys are dedicating this, uh, your canvases to Vivian. And, uh, yeah, I just, it just makes my heart feel big and warm inside that you guys are, are doing that. And you're right, you know, take every day as it's your last day and make the best of it. Um, yeah, um, but this is going to be great. Um, I try to block out some of my stuff so where I can work. I'll tackle some of the small areas first. Like right now, I'm doing a large section of the E's. Um, usually, I do have acrylic diamond painting pins, but I do have arthritis in my hands. And uh, for some reason... Um, this is just working good for me right now, and I can diamond paint a lot faster with um, a small pin. And I'll just use in the kit pin, and I usually use them until I wear the barrel down, and then I will trash it. I do save this part and sanitize it and use it for cakes. Um, let's see. I went to church today, and everybody was very supportive there. Um, we're working in the book of Matthew and uh, it was a good sermon and everybody's aware that we are getting ready to go home. Um, I had a couple of volunteers come up to me to say, hey, what's going on in the kitchen? I said, we'll talk about it uh, when we meet up on the day that you're in the kitchen with me and I guess we're going to have a couple of volunteers come in and run the kitchen while I'm gone. I thought maybe they would shut it down, um, but they're not going to. Um, 
if they have to do uh, Taco Bell, um, they're going to do a couple of Domino Days. Um, but I will get, um, I will have stuff pre-prepped and ready to go. Like I can make a lot of cookies and I can get Capri Suns. I can get that at Costco. Um, it, it'll be fine. And some, and uh, we're going to have a, a pasta day in there and a tortellini day in there. So I'll just make this sauce and all they have to do is uh, boil the tortellini. Oh, there went my light pad. Oh. I'm thinking, oh no, the electricity's going out, but it's not. <laughs> I don't have a, a special clip on here yet. This is that light pad from um, that I did a PR on a Tojito light pad. I have a big diamond painting area set up downstairs that we kind of watch TV. I diamond paint. I, I, you know, I stay with my husband. I don't want to be hanging up in this room by myself diamond painted all the time and this table's quite little so this is a small light pad for my setup um so yeah and i work flat I, I i tried working at an angle everybody diamond paints different and that's what's cool so this is where you see where um let me get this up the these are stuck together and so i'm just going to take it with my finger and i pull them apart and uh and then again, when it, if it gets too difficult or starts to hurt my fingers, because after a while, if you do have a lot that are stuck together and you're going like this all the time, it, it hurts your fingers after a while. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I think I'm assuming that Becky and V um, will be starting theirs on Monday um, or at least kidding up. I'm not quite sure. Um I think by the time I see the next progress, um, Granny, well, there I did. I'm taking the light pad off again. Maybe I need to move my canvas so I'm not near the light pad switch. <clears throat> They'll be uh, way up there getting theirs done. I think they're going to get done a lot faster than uh, I am. So, um, but I just wanted to come on here real quick and show you my progress. Let, <clears throat> excuse me, there goes my voice. I think I'm going to lose it, guys. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay, so let me know if we're supposed to post daily. If we are supposed to post daily, um, a small vi video on our progress. Mine will have to be late at night. Um like on Mondays is a food hall day. And so I really, I'll be working from um, seven in the morning until about six o'clock at night. Um, I do have a 10K run on um, Thursday. So Wednesday night, I will not be able to diamond paint. I'm staying at a local hotel that's closest to the Wilson Bridge. Uh, so we can do our run at four o'clock in the morning. Uh, get our six miles in, um, put our medals on. Oh, I should show you that really quick because I don't know if I'm going to get another video out um, before my run. Um, it's May the 4th be with you. Oh, I will. I'm going to get it real quick since it's, I'm upstairs. Pause one moment, please. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so um, I lost a dear friend a year ago, and her name was Sarah, and she was like a daughter to me. And so on May 4th, that's her birthday, and it is Star Wars. May the 4th be with you. And we are running a 10K. Uh, I was able to talk her mother, and normally she does a 5K. I talked her into doing a 10K, and we decided that we would run um, the Wilson Bridge. We'd start in Virginia and end in Maryland. And uh, like I said earlier, we're staying at a hotel uh, because we do have to work that day. And so we're going to stay in a hotel at Holiday Inn Express, and we're going to do the run. And then we will go back to the hotel. We will shower and get ready for work because we were talking about uh, just going straight to work and then, you know, do a, a sink wash up. No, I'm a sweater. Can't. I can't. 
have to have a full shower, especially and then having to deal with food and everything. No, I have to have a shower. And then they serve breakfast there. So we're going to have breakfast and then um, we'll go to school and then we will come home and um, either diamond paint or I'll fall asleep. One or the other. But let me show this to you. Let me pull my plastic down. I don't want anything messing up my plastic. And then I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to try and finish this section here before I go to bed. So then I'll work on this maybe tomorrow night and do an update with you guys. I'd have to do it late, late at night. So you would probably see it. Um, I'll always be a day late. How's that? Okay. So you guys will let me know. Okay. So here's the shirt that I'll be wearing. It is a virtual run and then we'll log our times afterwards. And it says, may the fourth be with you, 5K, 10K. Next year I will do the same run, but it will be a half marathon. And then on the back side, I think it says virtual. Oh no, there's nothing on the back. Last year there was stuff on the back. Okay, so this is a plain shirt. Um, once I got the package, I don't really, I just kind of leave everything in the packet. That's my number. It's by Metal Dash. And then we will place this on each other. I'll play Cheryl's uh, medal. I don't take it out until after the run. I think it's bad luck. But this is the medal. And then we will log our times. And then I will place her medal around her neck. And she'll place my medal around my neck. Yeah. So we have so much going on. This is for Sarah. This is for Vivian. And I have just wonderful people that are doing this diamond painting along and I, I just you guys are wonderful everybody in the YouTube one YouTube world is wonderful you guys are so great um, I'm trying to think of anything that diamond grandma asked about hers I think she took her pool noodle off and um, she was trying to find uh, different angles for her canvas actually I think this for to me this is a small canvas um, but she works at an angle and she'll find the right, she'll find the right way to do it. Everybody does, you know, and she said she was going to keep diamond painting until she gets to that point. Um, uh, DP crazy lady, your setup is great. Now you're going to have a tripod. And when you had left a message with me last night, you were saying, well, I really don't want to get into a whole bunch of tripods and I know it's expensive and stuff. And then I was thinking, oh no, you mean we're not going to hear from you after? The dream catcher, you girl, you got to be showing your other stuff. You're so talented. I, your enthusiasm is wonderful. All of you girls, you are just fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. All right. Um, the chef is going to go. I'm going to finish this little section here. Um, and then I'm going to call it a night. I get up at four o'clock in the morning to start my day because I like to have coffee with my husband. And we that's how we start our day every day is four o'clock in the morning. We spend an hour together and then it's like, OK, it's time to shower and get ready for the day. And um, again, if I get over into this area tomorrow night, it will be late. You guys will be a day delayed. OK, <laughs> I'll do the best I can. Um, with posting progress, but I'm not going to guarantee anything because sometimes I have 12 hour days, guys. I really, you know, and, um, I do use diamond painting as a de-stress and some days, um, I might not lay enough drills down to make a progress. So, but we're all in this together and, um, until we meet again and, uh, you have any questions, I'll try to answer anything. Um, for you guys, I mean, I've only been diamond painting for three years, but um, everybody does it different. They have their own unique way. And uh, yeah. All right, guys, I can keep going on and on and on. I'm just ranting now. Bye. Chef Diamond is out. And my saying that I always like to say from Walt Disney, if you can dream it, you can do it. Happy crafting, everybody. Okay, bye.